from failing seven auditions in other shows to being the wanted guy in the cast. This is the fascinating story of Sam Hewen, the never thought choice to play Jamie Fraser on Outlander. Fascinating because just before taking on the role, these actors were nearly cast as Jamie and Claire Fraser. Anyways, guys, let's be real and honest. You know when you have a book and you start imagining who could play your characters on the big screen? Well, Gabaldon was no different. According to her, Liam Neeson and Sir Sean Connery were her first picks for Jamie. Can you even imagine Jamie Fraser, played by Liam Neeson and Sean Connery? It's mind-blowing! But unfortunately, when Outlander eventually became a TV series, those two legends were too old for the role. But that's not the end of the story, folks. Even after seeing photos of Sam Hewen, Gabaldon wasn't sure he was their guy. Because this man, Liam Neeson, at first proved a perfect match for the role. Liam Neeson, oh my, that's who. With his towering stature, rugged look, and that Celtic vibe, Neeson was Gabaldon's top pick for the role. Can you even imagine? A Jamie Fraser who commands attention and adds to the larger-than-life aura of the character. I'm telling you, it would have been epic. And it's not just about his looks, folks. Neeson is a seasoned actor with a range of emotions, from humor to rage, tenderness to ferocity. As we know, Jamie Fraser is a complex character, and Neeson's skills would have enabled him to bring all those different sides to life. He would have been the ultimate Jamie Fraser. Don't you agree? And let's talk about the kilt. In Outlander, Jamie is often seen rocking his Scottish heritage with a kilt. And let me tell you, Neeson would have looked smoking hot in one. That rugged look would have added authenticity to his portrayal of Jamie Fraser and made us all swoon. Finally, we can't forget about Neeson's rich filmography. He's been in so many action and dramatic films, and Gabaldon would have known that his background in those genres would have no other better match. In fact, according to Gabaldon, that Jamie Fraser role did not just require any person, but someone who has the kilt, like Sir Sean Connery. You know why? Because this guy, Sir Sean Connery, what can I say? He's a legend, a total boss. And let's be real, he's got that Scottish vibe down to a T, which would have made him the perfect fit for the role of Jamie Fraser. Can you imagine? A Scottish actor playing a Scottish warrior. Talk about authenticity. And let's not forget about that gravitas Connery would bring to the character. I mean, come on, he's a leading man for a reason. His acting skills and charismatic presence would bring Jamie to life in a whole new way, making him dynamic and engaging. And let's be real, Connery's name alone would have attracted a ton of fans to Outlander. I mean, he's a Hollywood heavyweight, and with his large following, Outlander would have reached a wider audience in no time. But let's not forget about the action. Jamie's often in the thick of it, and Connery's experience in action films would have made him the perfect fit for those scenes. He would have brought a sense of believability, making them even more exciting for us viewers. And finally, Jamie's got a lot of emotions going on, from humor to rage, and Connery's experience in dramatic films, now you already know that Sir Sean was a boss in the acting game. Actually, he had that natural talent and charisma that only legends have, and his experience in dramatic films? It was top-notch. He brought depth and complexity to every character he played, and man would he have brought that to Jamie Fraser. Look at this. In the Outlander books, Jamie is depicted as a complex character with many different sides. He's a real real brooding Scottish stud, but he's also got a sensitive and emotional side. And let's be real, with Sir Sean's dramatic film experience, he would have brought all of Jamie's different sides to life in a way that was truly captivating. And don't even get me started on Sir Sean's on-screen presence. He had that commanding presence that made audiences sit up and pay attention. Can you imagine that energy on screen as Jamie Fraser? It would have been epic. And up to this point, you can only only agree with me that even you would have allowed him to bring that depth to the character, just because he would have brought Jamie's different sides to life, making him a strong choice for the role. So I know you're now asking yourself this million dollar question, why Sam Hewen and not Liam Neeson or Sir Connery? Well, here's your answer. First, you know when the author of the book series is giving you the stamp of approval, you know it's going to be good. As we 
know, Diana Gabaldon, the mastermind behind the Outlander book series, has given her seal of approval to Sam Hewen for the role of Jamie Fraser. According to Gabaldon, Sam's strong physical presence, Scottish accent, and overall talent as an actor made him the perfect choice for Jamie. But it's not just about his brawn. Gabaldon also praised Sam's ability to capture the emotional depth of Jamie. You know, the vulnerability, the inner turmoil, all that good stuff. And let's not forget that Scottish accent. It's on point! It adds that extra layer of authenticity to the character and brings Jamie to life in a way that just wouldn't be possible with a non-Scottish actor. And let's not forget about Katrina Balfe as Claire Fraser. Gabaldon notes that Katrina brings a strong, independent spirit to the role, which is key for the character of Claire. She's smart, resourceful, and determined. And let's not forget about that sizzling chemistry with Sam. The relationship between Jamie and Claire is at the heart of Outlander. And let me tell you, this relationship between Jamie and Claire truly is what makes this show so fire. Sam Hewen is Jamie Fraser. Seriously, dude, this guy is the epitome of a Scottish Highlander. He's got that commanding presence, that strong, confident vibe, and that Scottish accent. Yo, it's on point! He's just so perfect for the role. I can't even imagine anyone else playing Jamie. And let's not forget about Katrina Balfe as Claire Fraser. She's bringing that independent spirit, that intelligence, and that fire to the role. So, when we say the chemistry between Sam and Katrina is sizzling, and it's what makes the show so addicting, in fact, you can tell these two are meant to play Jamie and Claire. Because the casting of Outlander is just exceptional, and the show is a testament to the impact that strong performance can have on the success of a television show or movie. Diana Gabaldon, the author of the Outlander book series, has even praised the casting of Sam and Katrina. I mean, that's gotta say something, right? And these two bring it to life in a way that's true to the books. So there you have it, guys. The endorsement from the author and the strong performances by Sam and Katrina are just a few reasons why Outlander has become such a hit. Do you agree with Gabaldon's pick for Jamie and Claire? Let me know in the comments. And as always, stay tuned for more Outlander fun. Peace out. I thought I'd lost all altogether and pissed myself, but it's all right. Just spilled the yellow pot. At least I, I suppose we are. <sighs> but he didn't, did he? What did you do to him? Jamie, what have you done? But if it was your historian, then I didn't account it. And you said he had already left here. You said he raped you of your virtue. I nearly killed him.